An attacking house cat forces a family into a locked bedroom where they have to call 911 for help. And this story we told you about yesterday has really spread across the entire country, mainly because of how ridiculous it sounds. So K2's Lincoln Graves joins us now. Maybe not so ridiculous after all here, Lincoln. Not to cat experts. And I spoke with one of them today. She is known as the Cat Whisperer. She runs a cat behavior clinic in Portland. And we met today at my apartment so she could meet my cat. He does not have the same behavior problems as we saw yesterday, but I still learned what to do if he ever did attack. The eyes of a killer. Okay, that's not true. Merlin is truly the friendliest cat I know. That is until camera equipment invaded his space. It kind of looks like a T-Rex, the equipment probably. <laughs> it's like, is it going to come to life? But Michelle Nagelschneider speaks his language, understands his timidness. He's fine. I mean... His tail is flicking a little bit on the end, so he's thinking, he's processing all of this. If he did attack, Michelle could probably tell me why. She thinks she knows what set Lux off on Sunday. This cat uh, wanted to defend itself from the owner who had kicked it. That kick came after Lux scratched a baby who had pulled its tail. An understandable reaction on the part of the owner. I don't think he was trying to hurt the cat either. I think he was trying to protect himself. What works for Merlin in keeping him distracted from the scary camera equipment? And now we're playing with him, and now the cameraman can move closer, and he's not so fearful because we've got him in this zone. He's in the happy zone right now. May have worked for Lux, a distraction with some kind of toy or even catnip. A lot of cats will snap away from the fair end of the spectrum and go over into this happy end of the spectrum. Luckily, I haven't had to snap Merlin out of anything, but I might need to feed him less. The Maine Coons are big cat. He does look a little on the biggish end of the spectrum for a Maine Coon, though. Wait, do you, do you mean big bird or fat? Uh, the latter. <laughs> so you got to play with him more. You got to play with him more. All right, more exercise for Merlin. We did try to hook Michelle up with the family from yesterday. They told me that they don't want any other media coverage, but they do plan on keeping their cat Lux, and they will be taking him to a veterinarian to rule out any medical issues, and they plan to work with him behaviorally. And I also should plug Michelle's book. As I said, she's known as the Cat Whisperer. Mm -hmm. uh, she's made quite a few national TV appearances as well, so uh, she knows what she's talking about. It explains a little bit about what happened here. Good information. You want to know what your cat's thinking anyway. Exactly. Take Merlin for a walk or something. I'll try it. <laughs>